Hello and welcome to another episode of Historical Churches here on SAR Histories where in this episode we will be visiting St Mary and St Lawrence's Church, Boltsover, Derbyshire. The Doomsday Book of 1086 records that Bolsover was part of the lands held by William Peverell and had a value of 60 shillings, but there is no mention of a church. The church we see today dates from the 13th and 14th century, with the Cavendish Chapel dating from 1626. The church has a peal of eight bells six dating from 1898 and two others dating from 1902. Throughout its history the church has suffered from two fires, the first in January 1897 and the second in the early 1960s. After the first fire the church was almost destroyed with only the Cavendish Chapel being saved from the flames. It was rebuilt by the architect Louis Ambler. The church was again damaged by fire in January 1960, with the vestry and high altar being destroyed. Unfortunately, the church was closed during my visit but inside there is an organ, the third in the church's history, dating from 1962, built by Henry Willis and Sons. Also, there are monuments to Charles Cavendish, the son of Bess of Hardwick, and Henry Cavendish, the second Duke of Newcastle. The churchyard has many old graves with a variety of headstones. Most are readable and date from the 1800s onwards. The grounds are well tended and it is easy to walk around. As you explore, you will see that a few headstones have fallen, but I saw none that were hidden by overgrowth, like in other churchyards I have visited. If you are looking for ancestors in the area, the churchyard is a good starting place to look, as many of the headstones are in a good condition. St Mary and St Lawrence's is worth stopping by for a visit, especially if visiting the nearby castle. If you have enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time for more historical churches. Until then, goodbye.